Hey everyone, welcome back to Madden 24 Panthers franchise. Here on the channel, we are currently three and five. Gonna be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one. I believe we already faced them early in the season. This is, you know, one of the few teams that we've been able to beat. Bo Nix is their quarterback. So I'm not sure if they took him in the first round, but Bo Nix having a season. 10 touchdowns to nine interceptions, 1,400 yards. So, you know, not the greatest rookie season, but at the same time, not the worst, you know? I mean, it's young quarterback. They decided to move on from Baker Mayfield. I believe Baker is with the Raiders in this universe, but see Bo Nix, 72 overall. I did edit his number to 10 because that is what he wears. So just did that a little bit. But apart from that, uh, he looks okay for them. And... um. Yeah, I mean, let's get into it. Let's play this game. Let's see how we do against this Buccaneers team. And you take a look here. We are currently three and five. Buccaneers three and five. Falcons three and five. And the Saints are three and five. So you have a lot of teams kind of just stacked on top of each other in this NFC South. Really close division. Really bad division at that. So here we are taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. J.C. Horn last week against... Uh, a really good okay team good okay team four tackles two interceptions jc horn has been a great piece for this carolina panthers team defensively has been able to be a real ball hawk for him and it's going to be a rainy one here for this game bo Nix coming in here struggled a little bit in that first game but you know still struggling this season 10 touchdowns nine interceptions 1400 yards Bo Nix going to go down to the turf right away here, and that is going to be a sack. Isaiah Simmons on the blitz, second and 19 coming up after that. So now Bo Nix, shotgun formation, throws this one, and that was almost picked off right there by Jeremy Chin. So third and 14, picked up five. Nix looking. Nix on the run here. Nix just going to get sacked again. It's going to be Brian Burns chasing him down. Maybe should have just threw that one away, but out comes Bryce Young here. It's been an up and down season, is the way to kind of put it. You know, has Bryce Young looked good? He's looked okay at times. Third and nine, Bryce Young, and that's kind of been the issue this year. Still, despite the improvements of the offensive line, still just not where it needs to be. Just unchecked pressure coming in right there. And Bo Nixon gets this one to Mike Evans. Evans going to catch it. Broken tackle. He picks up the first down. Tampa Bay's in business. So now a quick throw right here to Mike Evans. Another just broken tackle. Evans able to fight forward here. Pick up the first down. At most, that should have been second and eight. Or not second and eight, second and two at best. Instead, it's a first down. Now Knicks all day to throw. Finally, some pressure gets in right there on Kyrus Barnes. And fourth and eight comes up. And they would kick the field goal here. This one's up and away. And it is good right down the middle. And Tampa Bay takes the lead here. So here comes Bryce Young, still the first quarter. Pressure coming in right away. I mean, doesn't even have time to go through the progressions here. Vita Vea just destroys the uh, the lineman there. So Bryce Young again just has to step up and run here in second. 17, going to get kind of bounced around there. Third and seven coming up now. Bryce Young steps back, looking. Just has to step up and throw here. Or step up and run, actually, not throw. Picks up the first down. They give him the first down in that one. Looked a little short to me. Second and four. Now going to be a handoff here to Ty Chandler. And Chandler able to pick up the first down right there. So this Carolina team is best when they're able to run the football. Second and six here. Bryce Young just pressured right away immediately. I mean, just has to, you know, bail from the pocket. I mean, doesn't have a chance to really go through the progressions. And that's a real problem. When you speed up that internal clock on a quarterback, like it's been sped up here for Bryce Young, you know, at times when there's no pressure, you're kind of going to not see things clearly, but he sees it clearly here to Jonathan Mingo, who picks up the first down right there. Big play right there that Jonathan Mingo picks up some nice yarders, gets some to goal to goal situation here. So now Bryce Young changing the play at the line, changing the play up, hot routing his receivers. Bryce Young. You know, making some adjustments here from what he sees on the defense. He's been given the ability to do that. Bryce Young on the run. Going to throw this one. Jonathan Mingo, touchdown, Carolina. And the Panthers going to take the lead here. 7-3. to three. 
Nice adjustment right there on the play by Bryce Young. Saw something, knew that the defense was going to be weaker to that side, and hot routed his man to be over there. So now second and nine. That's just a great throw from Bo Nix right there to Mike Evans. As some of the Tampa Bay people are wearing uh, a hideous sweater. Not sure what that color scheme is all about. Blue stripes with, with red looks disgusting. Not in a good way. So third and six here. Still the second quarter. Play action look. Bryce Young going to get sacked. I mean, doesn't even have a chance to even look for anything there. Gets sacked. Fourth and 14. Out would come the punt units now. Here is Rashad White spinning. No one's going to get him here, and he is going to go all the way to the house. 70-plus yard run here for Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And not sure what happened there defensively, but it's just guys getting pancaked all over the place. I saw about two or three pancakes on that play. Just guys on their back. Uh, just absolutely... Pathetic effort by the defense right there. Not sure what happened, but it allows a big touchdown run for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Big play right there for White as the Bucs take the lead 10-7. So now Bryce Young steps back. Going to find Thomas here. Breaks a tackle. Gets a block. Tries running over Winfield there, but still picks up the first down. So Carolina getting it back going here. Second and 10. Bryce Young. Steps back, going to throw it here to Jermaine Burton. Burton going to pick up some nice yardage. Third and inches coming up right there for the Panthers. Now going to be a handoff here to Chandler. Chandler picks up the first down, lowers the shoulder, and keeps the drive moving. So here comes Bryce Young. Shotgun for me, or not shotgun, play action. Bryce Young, he's just going to keep it himself. Just keeps it himself, runs, picks up the first down. A lot easier than maybe throwing a uh, contested catch. And again, Bryce Young, just contact with these DBs for these receivers when they're running these routes is kind of been an issue here. These D receivers just kind of running into people's zones and not recognizing you can kind of not do that. But either way, Jermaine Burton with a nice catch right there. At this point in the game, Bryce Young, 7 for 8. So now second and 2. Going to be handoff here. Ty Chandler gets some nice blocks. Picks up the first down. So here comes the Panthers. Second and 7. Bryce Young looking... Throws this one here. Jonathan Mingo, third and inches right there. Now they come back third and inches. Throws this one. That's almost intercepted right there. Pressure coming in from Vita Vea. Fourth and inches. They decide to go for it here. Going to be a handoff here to Chandler. Chandler goes into the end zone. Touch down. Panthers. Ty Chandler puts the Panthers back on top. Ty Chandler right there. Just got some good blocks right there. And... Panthers retake the lead after going for it on fourth and inches. So, first and ten here. Second half. Going to be a big throw here. Hayden Hurst picks up the first down and then some more right there. As they get all the way to the 25, Hayden Hurst up and down season. Some nice catches, some key drops. But fourth and three coming up here after that one. And the Panthers, they decide to go for it again. And Ty Chandler picks up the first down right there. Really nice stuff right there from Ty Chandler. He's potentially earned himself another contract here. Bryce Young just going to have to throw this one to Tariq Cohen. Fourth and nine coming up here. Maybe had the slot receiver open. But either way, just going to kick the field goal here. Make it a 17-10 game here as the Panthers pull forward a little bit more here. So the Buccaneers, second and six here. Bo Nix, going to be a play-action look. Nix throws this one on the run to Mike Evans, and Evans going to make the catch here. Gets brought down at the 41. Mike Evans, guy is good. Not much else to say there. Bo Nix throws this one again. Another first down throw right there for Bo Nix to Xavier Worthy. Third and six now. Bo Nix looking. Going to get sacked here. It's Derek Brown. What can Brown do for you? Gets a sack right there. Fourth in 19. And because of the wind and weather, that actually forces them out of field goal range. They just have to punt this ball away. So no points on the board for the Buccaneers. Nice hold there. And there's Bryce Young on the run again. Just gets that one off. And the pressure coming in on the interior today is immense. Third and three now for the Buccaneers after the punt. 
Bo Nix throws this one up. Jeremy Chin knocks that one down. Fourth and three coming up here. And it would be another punt. So now third and five. Bryce Young looking. Looking. Throws this one here. What a catch from Thomas right there. Picks up the first down. Keeps the drive moving. And let's see if the Panthers can do anything with it. Second and eight. Shot or play action again. Bryce Young on the run. Just can't get that one away. It's Drew Tryon Shoyonka. Screw him. Third and 22 now. Bryce Young throws this one up here. And that's almost intercepted. Tried finding Hayden Hurst right there. Couldn't do it. Fourth and 22. And the, Pan the Buccaneers would eventually drive this ball all the way down here. And they would get into scoring position second and 19 after the Isaiah Simmons sack. So what do the Buccaneers have on deck here? Third and 10 after getting back nine. Knicks looking. Just going to run this one. Slides down. Fourth and five coming up here. Do you go for it? They decide to go for it. Fourth and five. Knicks looking. Throws this one. That's almost intercepted. J.C. Horn, I believe, knocks that one down. So first and 10 here for the Panthers. Third and seven now. Play action here. And again, just pressure comes in. Bryce Young just keeps it himself. Picks up the first down here. Very effective uh, running here by Bryce Young this season. Third and seven. And they can't pick up the, four, the first down. Fourth and seven now. Going to have to punt this one away. So here comes Bo Nix. Shot to win this game. Going to find his man right there. Gets shoved out of bounds. I believe that was Xavier Worthy again. Second and one. Bo Nix looking. Looking. Throws this one out of bounds. Third and one coming up. Stops the clock. So it's not a bad decision. Third and one. And here is another play right here. Big play right there. Picks up the first down to Godwin. So first to 10, 34 seconds left, 32, 31 as he snaps the ball. Bo next looking, throws this one. And what a play right there from Chris Godwin. Doesn't get out of bounds, though. So the clock keeps running. Great tackle there by J.C. Horn. Couldn't do anything about the pass, but forces him to stay inbounds with the tackle. So Nix throws this one out of bounds. Four seconds left here. This one has to go to the end zone. Quick throw here. That's going to be picked off. Jeff Okuda. Ice is the game here. Okuda trying to run this one back. Doesn't really matter because either way, this one's over. Jeff Okuda with the pick seals the game for the Panthers as they pick up their fourth win of the season. They are now four and five on the season. Buccaneers fall to three and six. Bryce Young, 11 of 18, 163 yards, one passing touchdown. Ty Chandler, 27 carries, 87 yards. One rushing touchdown. Then Isaiah Simmons, six tackles, two sacks on the day for him. And then Bo Nix, 15 of 26, 176 yards, one interception. That was the one at the end of the game. And then Rashad White, 14 carries, 124 yards, one rushing touchdown. You think they would have went back to Rashad White a little bit more after that big touchdown run. But if you take out that big touchdown run yardage, then it probably wasn't that good of a day for Rashad White. Kind of kept him bottled up after that. Then Mike Evans, six receptions, 82 yards on the day for him. Uh, some key catches that he had in this game. and uh, But either way, the Panthers are, with, are able to defeat the Buccaneers 17-10 to in this one and prove to 4-5 and five on the season. So that was a pretty, I don't want to say great win, but it's nice to get a win either way. We match the Panthers' win total from last season here. And uh, it looked like we were going to do that pretty early on in the season. And... And then kind of it all went to crap there um, with that five-game losing streak. Um, so we get a win here. That's really nice. We get a NFC Defensive Player of the Week here in Isaiah Simmons. Six tackles, two sacks on the day for him. Um, he had a very good game, honestly. Uh, tried playing in coverage with him a little bit more. It just feels like at times... Now, you did notice there was that one pass that kind of went by me when I was using Simmons. I was hitting, like, the SWAT button, and then he just wouldn't, like, SWAT. There's just times where... It feels like you really have to like tap the button like multiple times to get him to either swat or try to pick the ball off. It's kind of annoying. Wish the game was a little more responsive in that regard, but it is what it is. Either way, nice game for our defense. We held them to 10 points, so uh, probably the last time you hold anyone to 10 points. So we sweep the Buccaneers on the year. 
I believe we've swept the Saints now. And uh, I think we lost to the Falcons. So and we don't play the Falcons till like week 16, week 15 or something like that. So when we come back, we're going to take on the New York Giants. Six and two can win this game and kind of have a clear lead of the NFC South potentially. Uh, you know, we're still in the playoff race somehow because the NFC South is so bad. And potentially the rest of the NFC is so bad. Uh, we might still, we could still potentially have a shot at a wild card. I know that sounds insane, but um, but yeah, either way, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.